Hello, my fellow doctors. So this surprised me, but it's actually been a little over one month since I started playing Arknights, and the journey so far has been as enjoyable as I expected it to be. Hello, people. Seek with Senpai here, and this is a video dedicated to some thoughts, feelings, and overall experience during my first month playing Arknights for the first time. So without further ado, let's do this. If you're new to the channel, or if you didn't know, my journey into Ark Knights began with the anime for the fall 2022 season. When I saw the trailer for the first time, the only thing that stuck out to me was waifu anime girls and some war going on, which I guess was enough to get me curious to check it out. But after watching the first few episodes, I was hooked. I was squeezing out as much Ark Knight content I could, but from the characters to the story, the world, and mountain of lore that was presented, likewise this ever-growing world building, Ark Knights became a franchise I wanted to learn more about and be a part of its journey. Fast forward and at the time I was playing Fate Grand Order, which I still am playing actually. Feel free to check out the videos on the channel. <laughs> but with a different and much better emulator and decided that once that season was over, it's going to be finally time to play Ark Knights. Since I already watched the anime, most of the story was stuff that I expected and knew, but playing it was a new experience. I'm not sure how many of you can relate, but when you see an adaptation of a franchise that you're a fan of getting a great adaptation, it is such an amazing and satisfying feeling, and weirdly I felt that way while playing it. It was backwards though since I went from anime only to now a game point of view. Even if there were slight changes from the way the anime adapted things, it still gave me a slightly fresh new experience. What I enjoyed most, as I briefly mentioned earlier, was the immersion to be a part of the story. When they brought the catastrophe towards the end of episode 1, I felt it as if I was experiencing it there myself. To see the natural disaster of gigantic organium crystals come out of the ground, adding already to, to the chaos in Chernobyl, with reunion rioting and people being killed, then Tallulah showing up with her fire and our main squad is struggling to survive and escape. It actually really was a crazy sequence of events when I look back on it. For episode 2, I don't have anything big to say regarding his story since at that point it was a new area with new characters I already knew. It didn't stray too much from how the anime showed things. At least from what I recall. But to be honest, I don't think I mentioned this before in any of my Art Nights videos, but this section or arc, you know, when we introduced the Long Men, meeting Misha and Skull Shatterer, compared to other arcs or future arcs, Episodes 2 story was not my favorite. What? Not that I found it bad, but I felt slightly uninterested. I'm not sure if I'm wording this well, but I don't know. The introduction to new characters was, in my opinion, one of its highlights. Likewise, the banter between some operators, which I found hilarious, or even how this episode sets up the following episode and how we may see a reunion in a different perspective outside of a rioting organization from the infected. I'm not sure what it was, but I don't know. I felt like episode two was decent. I mean, not to get too critical, um, maybe I'll say more in the future video when I review all of part one, which will be like, I don't know how long that's going to be. <laughs> but for now, those are some brief thoughts on episodes two story. When it came to the actual game playing aspect, it was definitely up my alley. Something about strategy games always gets my blood pumping. For Ark Knights, in a way, I think of it like chess, but with anime girls. Overall, I found it fun and satisfying whenever you complete a stage that can be a bit challenging, which for some can be frustrating, but for me, I found it thrilling to try out different things with different operators. In terms of challenging stages, most of episode zero and episode one, I found to be easier to go through looking back. Most stages I got after my first attempt. Then again, this was a period where I was still very, very new to the game. If anything, the boss battles with Crown Slayer and W took me a little time to strategize more, but when it came to episode two, Oh boy, I don't know what was going on with episode 2, but for me, it was like jumping 5 levels more difficulty for some reason. I'm not sure if it was because some new enemies were presented. Speaking of which, screw these guys. Senior casters are my arch enemies, since I cannot count how many times these guys had me losing stages. I'm sure one day I'm going to look back missing them as an enemy for whatever difficulties lies ahead, but for now? Screw them! Anyways, where was I? Overall, 
In episode 2, I found myself having to strategize more and retry stages. But because of that, it also got me more familiar with the operators and how their different classes operate with each other. It also gave me a set of strategies I would use in some scenarios and inspired me to pay more attention to different operator skills, traits, subclasses, etc. Which, speaking of operators, I sometimes wonder how anybody keeps up with all of them and remembers all their skills and whatnot, which became a slight challenge for me. I guess it's something that you get over time. So, I haven't mentioned this yet, but golly, there is so much to do in Arknights. From not only the main story, but also the various side stories, events, daily supply operations, annihilation, your own base that you get to customize, and so much more I most likely still haven't unpacked. But to have all these stories in different game formats available is awesome. When I started playing, it was great timing too because it was when the 4th anniversary was going on so they had a number of daily bonus items and roles to do so. Though I was getting spoiled going in, it definitely helped a bit. Anyways, that's pretty much it. This was my some thoughts I had in my first month playing Arknights. Nothing too crazy to add, just felt like overviewing everything, um, some thoughts I had on the story and whatnot. Um, I mean, like I said, I've seen the anime, so a lot of what was presented story-wise was stuff I knew. If anything, it was just really getting used to the game-playing aspect, which, as you can see, I really, really like. But yeah, I do want to um, thank everyone who's checked out any of my previous videos. Whether you've been here from the anime, you've seen it from the animation trailers, from from me playing the game, um, wherever whether you're starting today with, with checking out my videos. Um, I just want to thank everyone who's even tuned in for even a little bit. Um, it's been a pleasure reading all your comments, and I really do. I like the community. You know, it's really, it's really nice. It's, it's, it's refreshing to be a part of a community that's um, nice and will, um, <laughs> will, will talk with you about stuff. Like, if I have a question, um, you all are really quick to answer, which I truly, yo, I appreciate that very much. And yeah, anyways, yo, I'm looking forward to doing more Arc Science content in the future. I mean, hey, I try to have something up, like, every other week at least. The goal was every week, but then I was like, yo, let me not burn myself out with, with content. That's something I have the habit of doing, probably because I just like putting stuff out, but I'm like, yo, Siku, mental health, slow down, <laughs> responsibilities, job, work, bills. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, yo, let me know what other content y'all like to see me in the future. Um, more art and nice stuff. Um, I'm also playing Fate Grand Order. I plan on getting, having some more consistency there as well. I think we're going to be starting episode, oh no, Singularity 4 soon. Um, London. So I'm looking forward to that. Get to see my favorite character, Mordred. Um, then there's other gacha games and or mobile games I'm actually kind of interested in playing. I know that next season, a uh, spring season, anime season, um, Blue Archive is getting an anime adaptation. Maybe I might play the game as well. Uh, maybe I might start checking out some of the animation trailers there. I'll see. Um, I know there's also Reverse 1999. I've had that game downloaded actually for a little while now. But I have not played it, so that's another thing I'm I've been curious about that one. I just haven't played it yet. I know someone's also telling me in the comments while they kinda of want me to check out Goddess Nike, which I've been curious about that for a while too. It's the game's only been out for a year and a few months, if I'm not mistaken. So um funny enough, I was actually planning to play that game when it came out, and I just never did because I could not figure out figure out my whole emulator and stuff. Yeah, anyways, I'm looking forward to that. I'm actually will play plan on getting back to some visual novels as well. I know last year I was playing Witch on the Holy Night and I kind of fell out of that. I want to get back to that, especially considering that Tsukihime is getting the official English translation coming out in I think June, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's other stuff I want to get back to and finish from Danganronpa, which I really, oh man, I really want to get back to Danganronpa. Then there's also, um, Zero Escape that I was also playing, so I probably have some stuff up for those stuff in the near, in the near future. I'm definitely watching The Holy Night will be coming soon. Um, I figure out why I want to do Danganronpa 2 since I probably might end up restarting it. Um, maybe I'll see, I'll see, I, because I think I was like halfway in the storyline and for me to just restart it, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll see. I'll see how I feel about that one, but. I might end up recording some stuff too. I don't think I'm going to, I don't have time to like stream stuff anymore. So anyways, 
that's all I have to say. Thank you for tuning in for this video. And yeah, in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts are, any of that stuff, what kind of content you'd like to see me do. Um, how long have you been playing Ark Knights? I'm curious about how long y'all been playing. I think when I started playing, I had some people who are new as well. They say, hey, I just started too. So for those who are new, let me know how your journey's been going. Or actually, any anyone, just let me know. But yeah, anyways, that's all I got to say. Let me end this video. Otherwise, I'm going to keep rambling on and on. Um, so yeah, that's all. Peace and out. Hold up, I'm just realizing this. I haven't said anything about the music in Art Nights. Hold up, play some tunes, Siku.